Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a gradient logo with Inkscape. So, let's get started. Uh, go to File, Document Properties. Uh, set the orientation to landscape. Change the units to pixels. Let's uh, create a 1280 by 720 pixel composition. Change. Uncheck the Show Border option and just close out of this. Now select the ellipses, circles and ellipses tool. You can also press F5 on your keyboard to get that. Hold the control and shift key on your keyboard and uh, create a circle. Uh, remove the fill from it. Set the fill to no paint and uh, in the stroke paint tab set it to flat color. With the stroke style and change the units to points and uh, Let's make it one point and uh, in the align and dispute panel set the relative to page okay now come over to the tops uh, from in the this tool box right here or whatever you call this uh, change the units to pixels and uh, we'll just click on this icon this lock icon if you hover over it, it says when locked, change both width and height by the same proportion. And that is what we want to achieve. We will click on this and uh, change the width and height by the same proportion. Now click on this icon that says center on vertical axis. And then click on this icon that says center on horizontal axis. Right click and click on duplicate or you can press ctrl and d and uh, let's change the width of this one to 474 pixel again uh, click on this icon center it on vertical axis and click on this icon to center it on horizontal axis right click a uh, duplicate and uh, let's change the width and height to 248 pixel and again align it to the center of our page uh, now change the relative to last selected and just like this uh, middle ring and uh, hold down shift key on your keyboard and select uh, this outer ring by clicking on it and now you have both these rings selected uh, click on this icon that says align top edges Uh, can click on this middle ring uh, let's let's uh, first uh, create a guide so uh, come over to the right side and you'll see the snap centers of objects if uh, you have the if your Inkscape is set up as mine then uh, these icons will be on the right side uh, for some people it will be on uh, from from the top side uh, so just don't worry about it I just have to find this icon and uh, click on it to enable it snap centers of objects and then click on this one as well let's say snap and items rotation center and also click on this icon that says snap to the page border because why not and uh, grab a guide from the left side and uh, just find the center of this circle shape which is right here and from the top side as well grab a guide and uh, let's make sure that these two guys intersect at the middle of this circle shape okay now again uh, click select the shape this middle one this ring uh, click once again to get the rotation handles and once you get the rotation handles, you'll see in the middle, you'll get this crosshair uh, thing. So we'll just put it uh, put it uh, where the, these two guides meet. And uh, we'll just uh, right click on it and uh, click on uh, duplicate. And hold the shift key on your keyboard. Uh, or maybe the, uh, you have to hold the control key on your keyboard and uh, start uh, rotating it 
so you'll see it somewhere over here the numbers will be generated uh, so we have to uh, rotate it to about by about 120 degrees so 120 degree is right there and uh, that is what we want again right click duplicate again start rotating it by 120 degrees select this uh, ring right here this one and hit the up arrow key uh, once just once and uh, with this ring selected hit the left arrow key once and with this ring selected hit the right arrow key once hit control on a keyboard to select everything <clears throat> Uh, in the stroke paint tab set it to no paint and in the fill set it to flat color now go to path then click on exclusion now we'll create a rectangle so select a rect select rectangles and squares tool and uh, place your mouse cursor somewhere over here and uh, create a rectangle like this let's give it a different color and uh, move it to the bottom of everything so by clicking on this icon <clears throat> uh, now again hit control a on your keyboard to select everything go to path and this time click on division click away to deselect it and uh, now select the edit parts by notes tool or you can press F2 on your keyboard to get that and uh, start uh, selecting shapes by you have to select multiple shapes so hold down the shift key on your keyboard and start selecting this is the first shape that you have to select this is the second one the third one and this will be your fourth shape then go to path then click on union and the fill and stroke uh, set the fill uh, to radial gradient. I'll click on this icon that says create and edit gradients. Uh, this one is the uh, is the is your starting point of the gradient, and these are the endpoints. So just click on this square shape shape thing right here, and. Uh, change its color I'll just make it a lighter tone of amber and uh, the outside ones let's make it darker and uh, you have to repeat this process again with the edit parts by nose tool it's not necessary to do this with edit parts by nose tool but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to show you to do it uh, with edit parts by notes tool again holding down the shift key on my keyboard and uh, clicking on these shapes and selecting it one by one go to path then click on union go to fill change it to radial gradient and you'll see this stroke is this gradient is already right here click on it to apply it again with the uh, edit with the edit parts by notes tool hold down the shift key on your keyboard start selecting the shapes go to path then click on union change the fill to radial gradient and change the gradient color okay we are almost done uh, select the shape right in the middle and hit delete on your keyboard to get rid of that and we have to remove these uh, shapes as well so let's let's just delete this background don't need it now if you press ctrl on a keyboard you'll see there are some uh, excess part of the shape that we don't need like this one there are like one two three four five and six there are six in number so we'll delete them one by one 
So let's start with this one. This is one, two, three. It's so your fourth one. And this is fifth. And this is going to be your sixth one. Again, select the create edit create rectangles and squares tool to create a background for our shape. This is completely unnecessary, but just showing you. And uh, that's it. That's how you create this gradient logo in Inkscape. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please do leave a like. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.